Events in 2020 at the ISS began on January 7th when CRS-19 Dragon was unberthed from the Navy report on Harmony and released from the station. A few hours later, the Dragon performed a deorbit burn and successfully splashed down in the Pacific Ocean, returning more than 2,500 kilograms of cargo back to Earth. On January 31st, the Cygnus SS Allen Bean was unberthed from the Navy report on Unity by the Canada Arm and released. It stayed in orbit for three months, deploying small satellites before deorbiting on March 17th, 2020. Two, on February 15th, 2020, Orbital ATK launched a Cygnus spacecraft named SS Robert H. Lawrence atop an Antares 230 carrier rocket from Wallops Island in Virginia. Engines at 100%. Attitude nominal. TBC's nominal. Core pressures are nominal. Engine chamber pressures are nominal. After three days in a rendezvous orbit, the SS Robert Lawrence arrived at the station, was grabbed by the Canada Arm, and berthed to the Navy Airport of Unity. On February 26, 2020, Soyuz MS-13, carrying Expedition 60, undocked from the Rosvet, performed the deorbit burn, and returned safely back to Earth just three hours later. On March 7, 2020, SpaceX launched the final Dragon 1 cargo vehicle, used previously on CRS-10 and CRS-16, atop a Falcon 9 from Launch Pad 40 at the Kennedy Space Center for the CRS-20 mission thus concluding its CRS contract for NASA. Stage one, landing burn, start up. And there's that landing burn starting. After main engine cutoff, the Falcon 9 returned back to landing zone 1 at Cape Canaveral. Stage 1, landing leg deploy. After the standard two-day rendezvous orbit, the Dragon was captured by the Canada Arm and berthed to the station. CRS-20 Cargo Dragon stayed docked for almost two months when, on April 7th, 2020, it was unberthed with the Canada Arm and released for the final time. A few hours later, Dragon deorbited, splashing down in the Pacific Ocean, returning more than 2,500 kilograms of cargo back to Earth. On April 17, 2020, Soyuz MS-15, carrying Expedition 61, undocked from the aft port of the Svezda, performed the deorbit burn, and returned safely back to Earth three hours later. Three days later, on April 20th, 2020, Roscosmos launched Soyuz MS-16 atop a Soyuz 2.1A carrier rocket from Site-31-6 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome on a fast track to the ISS. On their way to the International Space Station. Fifteen seconds into the flight, all parameters are nominal. We confirm on board, all parameters are nominal. Six hours later, Soyuz MS-15 docked to the Poisk module without issues. A.M. Eastern Time, 
1413 GMT as the station was flying just about 260 statute miles over the northern Atlantic. On April 25th, 2020, it's Progress MS-14 launched atop a Soyuz 2.1A from Site-315 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. We have main engine start. Turbo pumps now coming up to flight speed. And liftoff. Liftoff of the 75th Progress resupply ship on a fast track two orbit flight to the International Space Station. Roll pitch and yaw program are in. The Soyuz 2.1A booster arcing out to the northeast from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. After less than four hours in orbit, Progress MS-14 docked to the aft end of the Svesda module. Closing at a rate of just over one-tenth of a meter per second, everything proceeding on track. Contact confirmed. We have capture. And capture confirmed. On May 11, 2020, the Cygnus SS Robert Lawrence was unberthed from the Navy report on Unity and released by the Canadarm. It stayed in orbit for almost two weeks before burning up in the atmosphere over the Pacific Ocean on May 29th. On May 20th, 2020, the Japanese resupply vehicle HTV-9 launched atop an H-2B rocket from the Tanogashima Space Center. And we have liftoff. A rising sun over the land of the rising sun as Jax's H-2B rocket and the HTV-9 cargo craft take flight. Roll pitch and yaw program in effect. The H-2B rocket uh, takes flight to the International Space Station. After four days in orbit, HTV-9 approached the station. It was grabbed by the Canada Arm 2 and berthed to the Navy Report on Harmony. After much fanfare and a few cancelled launches, SpaceX launched the Crew Dragon atop a Falcon 9 from Launchpad 39C at the Kennedy Space Center on May 30th, 2020, marking the first time American astronauts had launched from U.S. soil on a U.S. rocket since the retirement of the space shuttle in 2011. Liftoff of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon, go NASA, go SpaceX, Godspeed, Bob and Doug! America has launched. And so rises Copy. a new one era out. of American space flight. And with the, it, the ambitions of a new generation continuing the dream. 20 seconds into flight, stage one propulsion is nominal. After a perfect return to flight launch of the Crew Dragon, renamed Endeavor by the demo crew of Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley, the Dragon spent just over 24 hours in a rendezvous orbit. After which, it approached the station and docked to the Harmony forward port without issue. It was the first time a crew had docked to the Harmony forward port since the last shuttle mission, and marked a new era in commercial flights to the near 20-year-old station. We have Bob Behnken from SpaceX Demo 2 mission entering the International Space Station. Followed by Doug Hurley. On July 8, 2020, Progress MS-13 undocked from the Pierce module, conducted its deorbit burn, and burned up at the atmosphere over the Pacific Ocean. On July 23, 2020, Progress MS-15 launched atop Soyuz 2.1 from Site-315 at the Baikonur Cosmodrome on a fast track to the ISS.
We're about 10 seconds away from uh, booster shutdown and first stage separation. And there are the booster, the boosters now separated. The third stage engine up and running in good shape at the six minute mark into the flight. We're about two minutes and 45 seconds away from uh, the progress entering its preliminary orbit. Third stage shutdown confirmed and spacecraft separation confirmed right on time. Now standing by for uh, solar array deployment. And the command uh, to deploy the arrays uh, having been issued and you can see them having been deployed. Navigational antennas now deployed. After just three hours in orbit, Progress MS-15 docked to the Pierce module without issue. On August 1st, 2020, the Crew Dragon Endeavour undocked from the forward port of Harmony and moved away from the station. The crew performed the deorbit burn and landed safely in the Gulf of Mexico and were picked up by the recovery ship Go Navigator. On August 18th, 2020, HTV-9 was unberthed from the Harmony module and released into orbit. After a series of trajectory control maneuvers, the final deorbit burn was completed on August 20th, 2020. On October 3rd, 2020, Orbital ATK launched the 15th Cygnus resupply vehicle on top an Ares 230 launch vehicle from Wallops Island in Virginia. The Cygnus was named the SS Kampala Chawla, after the first Indian American astronaut who was lost in the Columbia disaster. Pitch and roll programmer in. After the standard two day rendezvous orbit, Cygnus was captured by the Kennedarm and berthed to the Navy port of Unity, ready to offload its 3,500 kilograms of cargo to the crew aboard the station. On October 14, 2020, Roscosmos launched Soyuz MS-17 atop a Soyuz 2.1A launch vehicle from Site 316 of the Baikonur Cosmodrome on a fast track to the ISS. Main lift and lift off. Kate Rubin, Sergei Rishikov, and Sergei Kuzberchkov now on their way to the International Space Station, the latest in a chain that spans almost 20 years of continuous human presence in space. Ten seconds. The parameters of the rocket are nominal. Twenty seconds. The thrusters of the first and second stage are operating nominally. Just three hours and two orbits later, Soyuz MS-17 docked to the Rosviet module. Small TV. On November 16, 2020, SpaceX launched its first full mission using the Crew Dragon, Crew-1, atop a Falcon 9 rocket from the Kennedy Space Center. It was the first crewed night launch from KSC since 2010. The Dragon, renamed Resilience, spent just over 24 hours in a rendezvous orbit, docking with the four report on Harmony on November 17, 2020. The four-person crew, including shuttle veteran and JAXA astronaut Soyuchi Naguchi, was the largest since the retirement of the space shuttle and marked the Crew Dragon's first fully operational mission to the ISS. And there they are, first 
just across the hatch, Mike Hopkins. And here is Victor Glover. You heard the crew here, uh, the team here on in Mission Control cheering to see them come, come across the hatch. There's Shannon Walker. And finally, Suichi Noguchi bringing up the rear. Four new members bringing the total Expedition 64 crew to a total of seven. Ready to uh, increase the space station science and, and get to work. On December 6, 2020, SpaceX launched its CRS-21 mission using an updated Cargo Dragon vehicle launched atop of Falcon 9 from the Kennedy Space Center. After less than 24 hours in a rendezvous orbit, the Cargo Dragon approached the Zenith Port of Harmony without the need of the Kennedy Arm, and docked, marking the first time two SpaceX vehicles were docked to the ISS at the same time. And we have confirmed contact and capture 12.40 p.m. Central Time. Back on Earth, 2020 was a hard year for everyone as we collectively battled the coronavirus pandemic. But the historic launches of the SpaceX demo and first commercial crew helped brighten the spirits of humanity across the world and gave us a renewed hope in what we can achieve together.